All right, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. My name's Justin. If you don't know me, glad to see you all this morning. I know it's Monday, so could we all just with me take in a deep breath and out? One more. Awesome. Now that you feel relaxed, I want you to feel that same relaxed um, um, state that you are right now when you're playing. Because when we're playing an instrument, whether it be wind instrument, um, string instrument, percussion, anything, we need to be relaxed. We can't be tense because we're not going to get a beautiful resonant sound if we're not doing that. Okay, so um, we just did our D major scale. So um, can we do that again, actually? Um, the same rhythm we just did. And so because, um, can anyone tell me what key this piece is in, French folk song? It's in the same key that we've been doing every song. Can anyone tell me? Raise your hand. Um, yes, Brandon. D. D major, awesome. Yeah. I know. Um, so can we do the D major scale one more time just so we can get um, familiarized with that so we can kind of um, audiate it in our head? All right, ready? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> So it's probably pretty good. Um, can I have Willie, uh, Keith on here, Diego, Andrew, and Lauren? I'm going to have you guys play it on Arco while the rest of the class does on pizzicato, um, just so we can practice those fingerings. But I want y'all to have a chance to shine in front of the class. So um, let's do that. Ready? Uh, just the first line. One, two, three. <laughs> Awesome. Fat part of our fingers and lightly um, left the string. All right. Whole thing. French folk song. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, Peter. 
uh, our tempo increased by a oh, lot. Yeah. We were, we were definitely rushing. I think when we're, we're pizzicato, we're a little bit more susceptible to rushing than when we're doing arco. So can we do arco now? Make sure you're not rushing. Make sure you're listening across to everyone. No one should be louder than the person next to you. So if you can hear yourself like way over the person next to you, then you know you're playing too loud. We need to have a nice balance as a string ensemble. We need to have a really nice balance. Listen down to the basses and to the cellos to make sure we have good balance. All right, let's do, let's do this on arco, right? Good posture, sitting up. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I think we've done a, a lot of that, and I want to do, make you guys um, have a little bit of critical thinking and think of different ways we can change the music up a little bit to make it more interesting, because we're musicians, so as musicians, we're usually performing for an audience, so the audience isn't going to want to listen to that at a static tempo, a static dynamic. It's going to put them to sleep. Um, it's not a lullaby, it's a French folk song, so is there anything, Andrew, Andrew do you think there's anything? Um, we can kind of like give a little bit of emphasis to the first beat of the bars because yeah. it kind of has a waltzy feel to it. It does have a waltzy feel because we're in, um, uh, anyone tell me the time signature? Yeah, Diego. Yeah. Three, four. Awesome, three, four. So, uh, yeah, I almost feel like um, as a waltz, folk songs, typically people dance to folk songs, they're not sleeping to folk songs. Can we put emphasis on beat one and maybe a little faster? Because this is French music, so it's supposed to be light and bright. All right, uh, can we just do it all together one more time? Emphasis on beat one and a little bit faster and brighter. One, two, three. <laughs>